Hey guys, well today we've got this Isuzu D-Max here that we've had in the workshop and it's been a lovely vehicle to work on and it really is a bit different. This, this decal on the side of the Norwell canopy is just stunning. Australian flag in the background and the iconic cattle dog. Now, this vehicle's super well kitted up for touring and although it's kept very, very simple, but it's a clean, clean, clean build. So starting at the front of the vehicle, we have an X-Rox bull bar on the front of that, running a VRS winch behind the winch cradle there. A GME radio antenna on the front end, as well as a set of Raptor spotlights. Now, at the top of the Rhino rack platform rack, nice flat platform rack, is a Rode Vision light bar for that massive spread of light at night while traveling. The a bit different is this snorkel on the other side, stainless snorkel powder coated black on the other side, just for that raised air intake. And on the side of the vehicle over here, a set of rock sliders as well as steps, allowing you to get up and step up onto the top end. Other than that, the vehicle's pretty well um, got a good set of suspension underneath it, a two inch lift on outback armor suspension. Nothing fancy, but giving you that really good quality longevity in the suspension as well. As we know, outback armor is one of those top end brands. As far as the wheels go, we've got a set of Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain tires on a set of tough off-road rims. Now, that's probably about a 32 inch over there. A nice all-around size for these D-Maxes. As I've had one myself, I'm running similar size tires to this. Now, getting on the rear of the build on this vehicle as well is the full-size Norwell tray. Now, note, this is not the Norwell with the headboard in. This is taking up that extra bit of space on a full-size canopy and tray combination. Things I really find practical and handy is, for example, these water taps, lockable water taps, which is super handy at the rear of this vehicle over there. I love that. Getting onto the inside of the car, and I'll just open this up. There we go. Just getting on the inside of there. Nice, full fit out combination there. Now, running an Enerdrive lithium 200 amp hour battery with a Red Arc BMS Manager 30 system. So that's your full charging, your 30 amp DC DC charging system, battery monitoring system all in there, and a big Red Arc um, pure sine wave inverter on the other side of the vehicle. Now on this side being the kitchen end, you've got your drop down fridge. That's on your clear view easy slide, and it's an ARB 60 liter fridge on there. So nice and easy to get to. On this side of you, an angled drawer fridge coming out just next to the top pantry. And what I really like about this size is the absolute size of this kitchen drawer. So that pulls out all the way to their massive space as well as Nor Weld's work surface or table area there. So that's a great use of space on over that. Now, we are the privilege today of installing a DX27 rooftop tent to the top of this, as well as our 270 XT awning. So I'm gonna jump up to the back here. We've got a spare jerry can holder at the back over here, or water can holder, and on this side, the spare wheel. I'm gonna use the Norweld ladder for this scenario. Now the tent is supplied with a ladder, so you can have side access as well, if needed. And just coming off the top of this, quickly pop that up, grab that bungee, pull that bungee down when needed. Now, as far as the spring rods go, and the nice thing is I can get nice and high on these ladders. Spring rod into place, like that, and take this. Now, to pull this over, and I'm just gonna quickly sit over here, pull that back there, hook it in, and pulling that rain fly nice and tight. Now, we have bent a dog leg in this pole to clear the top of the awning. So that's super easy, and that wasn't meant to happen. Much from the bottom here, hook that spring rod in. There we go, nice and easy. Bring it up into position and pull it down into its cradle. That's up and ready to go. Now, what I'll just have to do is just close this. I probably won't have to go all the way. There we go. Fold that away. And that's a nice thing with kitchen setups like this as well. It's so quick and easy to fold up and close up everything. Just like that. Bring that down. There we go. Awning time. Zip that open. One strap, two straps. And the awning drops down. Simply pop it over the back there and walk it all the way around. Now on this back end, I'm just going to clip it into the Eyelets in position over there and simply tighten up the awning. So that's all ready to go. There we go. Massive bit of shade over there. Easy access into the canopy again. So pop that open 
and that's clearing quite well. Now, we can raise that higher if you want to get a canopy with a larger opening door as well. In this situation, it works really well for this customer, and that has been preset to here's the Termin Heights. We didn't do any adjustments on there whatsoever. Guys, thanks for watching this install video. For more information on our products, our 270XT Mark II awnings, as well as our DX27 rooftop tents, pop to our website at thebushcompany.com. Don't forget to go bush, and I'll catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.